I could do that. Look at that. We're already at level 3 industry power symbol because we have all the factories. I could just keep building factories to boost up my points. Alright, with army professionalism, we're one step closer to get army decision making. But of course, we should probably go ahead and get some idealism first. First and foremost. Oh my god, we already got another one? Sweet. Let's go ahead and get some censored press. Better press rights is always nice. Helps with immigration as well. And it makes people uh, more conscious. Which means they're going to be more militant. Which means more reforms. Lull that import cost. Oh, you mean the uh, tariffs? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's quite a bit. Oh, oh, we're definitely getting immigrants now. Come on. Yes, immigration. That's what I wanted to see. Even just a little bit. It always helps. Especially with uh, industry, because people who always em uh, emigrate from those countries, usually craftsmen, because they're unemployed. You'll need to work on making your people big brain. The literacy is important. Yeah, I know. I, uh, who was I playing as? Uh, I was playing as Texas, right. I was playing as a Texas game just for fun. Ooh, there you go, free press. Wow, this is some quick ref reformations. I was playing as Texas, and I pretty much got 100% literacy in, like, 1860. <laughs> And in doing so, I was always massively far ahead of the U.S. And so I got, like, gas attack before they were, like, at level 15 tech. I annihilated them, but they just had too many troops, you know? All right, we're at 12 out of 11 soldiers. They make session against Ashanti. Don't care. Oh, there you go. Bolivia and Peru have fallen apart. They're allied with Colombia. Colombia has five brigades. Bolivia, not as many. All right, no one really cares about Bolivia, to be honest, like, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, and we could totally annex some of this land easily. Easily annex this land. Oh, La Paz actually has quite a few people in it. Interesting. Yeah, we could do that. We just need to go ahead and decrease relations with them first. Cowboy gas. Yeah, it's pretty much cowboy gas. No, I'm not doing a Texas campaign. It was boring because I just sat there. I couldn't do anything. And you couldn't become a great power because in HPM you have to have two states to be great power. And I could never get two states until the end of the game. And then Mexico and America stomped on me. So yeah. It was pretty bad. Speaking of America, it's not... Yeah. They're oddly enough just bouncing up and down. It's weird. Alright, let's go ahead and get a based on population upper house. All right, Bolivia. I could make them into a puppet, or I could just go ahead and annex them. What do you guys think I should do, guys? What do you guys think I should do, guys? Do you think I should unite South America by just annexing the land, or should I puppet them? Because puppeting them would be a lot easier. President Storm says annex. I never get a based on population in the upper house. Well, no, screw you. <laughs> Annex, and, and anyone, anyone, okay, there's Annex from Stealth Gecko. Annex, actually. I mean, annexing is cooler. <laughs> Stealth Gecko, oh my god. Annex. Annexing is cooler, but it's just, oh, it is so painful. I always get too much liberalism. All right, I, I guess we're just going to annex them. Uh, I'll go ahead and do it. Acquire state. Now, yeah, this land can only support 17.5. That's fine. I'll go ahead and cut the army apart. Split the army in half. We'll send one up here. We'll send the other one later. I won't cheat. Yet. <laughs> I won't uh, do 18540 yet. Because I want it to be at least a little bit fair. You know what? Maybe you should hold back just a little bit longer. He's the one with the uh, cavalry, so he'll be able to siege a lot quicker. Look at these uh, Yakubans. Don't have any Yakubans yet. Oh, poor Bolivia is like, hey, want to be friends? 8.2. Alright, cool. So we got caught, but that's fine. Bolivian Menace. 
we might be able to add uh, Santa Cruz into our um, war goal. Now, they are allied with Colombia, and that sucks. I mean, that's six brigades. I don't want to deal. Ooh, five prestige. Yes, please. And I'm not. Oh, I can actually gain another army here. Go ahead and build up that. Calvary would be excellent to have. You can unite FRCA again and puppet it uh, if you sphere all of Central America. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that, I think that is true. Uh, early game, I recommend focusing on getting soldier pops. We have enough soldiers, definitely. We have enough soldiers. Right now, we should focus on intellectuals because literacy only works if you get it as soon as possible. We are already in 15th place. We're not that far behind... Um, who's in 8th place? Two Sicilies at 59. We already have 38. Uh, taking this land is going to give us some points as well. And if stupid Argentina can go and take over that piece of Paraguay, we can annex Paraguay and Uruguay. Uh, Uruguay will be later, but we'll do that. All right. Um... It's going to get a better uh, voting franchise. I just want to do as much as I can to attract as many immigrants as I can. Oh, that cavalry is going to be so useful. So fucking useful. Chile. You know what? Chile, let's go ahead and ally with you. I think they'll be a good ally to have, especially if I, when I go to war with Argentina. You're a gay. More like, you're a gay. <laughs> oh, got him, my dude. That is a real sick burn. I give that burn a 10 out of 10. That's a real gamer moment right there. That's going in my top 10 Fortnite funnies. I'm sorry. And all of you can go here. You should aim for li uh, for the life of the new world decision. That's actually not that good because it only lasts for 10 years. No, it lasts. For, there you go. It lasts for two years. I mean, that's massive immigrant attraction. But I should really only do that when there's like a world war happening. Because when world wars happen, especially in Europe, everyone runs away. It's great. It's great for immigration. But yeah, that only lasts for two years. It's pretty dumb. All right, there you go. La Paz, Santa Cruz. Wait, what? Ah, oh, shit. They own Bolivian Jujuy? Oh, my God. They technically own that little piece of land. I fucking hate you, Bolivia. Uh, well, we'll take over Santa Cruz and La Paz. Well, definitely La Paz. I don't know about Santa Cruz because it all depends on, um, how much we're able to take. Wow, lots of liberals in the upper house. That's good. Um, yeah, I refuse to recognize their independence. Fuck you, Paragol. Well, they just took over that piece of land. And they've continued to expand their little tiny empire. Ah, I crashed the game. No, no, I forgot. No. Oh, thank God it was January 16th. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, game. Oh, God. Oh, no. Game crashed. Game crashed. Give me a second. Game crashed. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate that. Game. So, it's weird. In the HPM mod, if you click on that, uh, province in Paraguay, yeah, uh, the game will fucking crash. Uh, yeah, F in the chat, everyone. F's in the chat. Oh, 13 viewers. Jesus Christ. Okay. I like it. I like it. I did the epic gamer moment. Again, that's going in my top 10 Fortnite bunnies. Alright, well, I only, I only lost like two weeks there, so it's not bad. But yeah, we will not recognize Paraguay's independence. Screw them. They are rightfully uh, South American. And by South American, I mean Brazilian. Because as everyone knows, South America is basically Brazil. Yeah, refuse to recognize their independence. Screw them. Yeah, our military score is actually fairly high here. You know what? Colombia might not even join because I have such a large army. I don't know. Let's go ahead and save the game. Why Brazil? Because I've never played Brazil, and it's an interesting country to play as. That's why. All right, let's go ahead and take... We want La Paz, right? All right, La Paz is only 28. That's phenomenal. 
this is okay fuck that's actually a state that sucks of course all this land is shitty ass jungle it's gonna be fun to take oh, what is this oh my god it's savannah why the hell is savannah in the middle of goddamn south america i guess it makes sense yep and columbia did join are they the war leader ah f fuck a duck they're the war leader well, that sucks. Do we have enough, like, jingoism? No, you know what? Jingoism, I forgot. I was playing too much multiplayer. Jingoism doesn't matter in this version. In this, uh, this mod, I mean. Alright, let's go ahead. You know, it's 18.5. It's fine. We'll just send our army up north. And we'll send this guy over here because he needs more soldiers, I think. And we'll just go ahead, attack him. Well, there's not much because it's 17.5 pretty much everywhere. Oh my god, that's a whole army. Colombia, the absolute mad lads are sending a full-blown fucking army into into Brazil. That is insane. And let's go ahead and annex Santa Cruz. It's another 11 infamy. Awesome. I love it. We'll go ahead and take over Suere, which that's not the capital, is it? I like realistic literacy. Moi... Muy historical accuracy, yay. Thanks for um, following me, Juan Lacaro. He missed the funny number. Oh, uh, 6.9. Ah! Did you enable crises from the start? No. More useless words in the old word, more immigration to you. No, that's just a uh, thing I, I've always had in um, whenever I played HBM. It's just, I, I don't like crises in the start. It's dumb. Is he attacking me? Damn, plus four attack. The absolute mad lad's attacking me. Let's see how this works. Because he's attacking me into a jungle. F's in the chat, everyone. That's a big F. Negative four. Holy shit. And he's winning. How is he winning? That's a plus two attack, but still, damn, son. That's an insane battle. All right, we should probably uh, just crush his army now. All right, so we just got idealism. Can't get army decision making yet. Uh, let's go and get basic chemistry because walking around the Amazon makes you wish for a nuclear winter. No. That's a reference. All right. Um, we should probably just go and attack. Ah, this is going to suck. Our soldiers are all going to die here. All right. Let's go ahead and just sit on La Paz. The supply limit surprisingly high. Oh, my God. Is, does Lake Titicaca really increase the supply limit that much? Fuck me, man. All right, conservatives won. Coolio. Uh, you both, okay, you both have a cavalry. Cavalry. I keep saying cavalry. You both have a cavalry. Cavalry, whatever you call it. So that's good. This is a desert, right? Yeah, semi desert. Oh, they're all dying. Uh, lose our prestige. Thank you, game. Needed that. Really fucking needed that. All these dudes are dying. Holy shit. Get them up here. Try and get the supply limit a bit higher. This, oh my god, that's a savannah too? Why is everything a goddamn savannah? Is it just me or the audio and video seriously misaligned? Shit, is it? Um. Um. Uh, okay, oh, sorry. That's, that's, that's gonna be okay, in the background. Sorry. Oh no! I oh 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 fuck! I, the music. Okay, guys, is the audio and video misaligned? Do you know? I want to know because the game crashed on me, so that might have fucked up everything. Hey, Columbia, just want a piece out. You only have one brigade left. Don't be a dick. All right, let's come down here just so we can stop dying. We'll just let the battle. Uh, we'll, we'll probably just take over Bogoto. 
I think it's fine. Hey fam, like your YouTube videos. Helped me get into Victoria too. Good luck to try and conquer all of South America. Thank you, Lex, Lexto, Lexo, Lexo, whatever. He's good. Okay, so it's good. Um, so yeah, it's just you, Poliet. Sorry. That's uh, it's not a very gamer moment of you. I guess my Wi-Fi is just shit then. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some medicine, because, dear God, our, our troops, more troops are dying from attrition than they are from actual battle, and that is not their job. Oh, he doesn't want peace. Oh, he doesn't want peace. Wait, stay in here. There you go. At least get a bit more soldiers. These armies are, aren't actually that terrible. They just don't have enough infantry, which, which, of course, I can just get more infantry from actually, you know, mobilizing. Oh, and there you go. La Paz and Santa Cruz. Now, that's a thick boy right there. That is a thick boy. All right, let's go ahead and get you weighted universal. Once we get universal voting franchise, um, that should increase the amount of immigrants by quite a bit. All right, let's bring these guys down. Okay, so now, Peru, how are you doing? Ah, oh, shit, they still have Antofagastia. Poor Bolivia. Oh, poor Bolivia. You poor, poor Bolivia. Only 85,000. Paraguay has more population. Does Uruguay... No, Uruguay is still tiniest. Alright, we really need someone to, like, revolt in Uruguay so that they uh, get rid of UK's influence there. I'm in 13th place. That's pretty good. 45, yeah. We're not that far behind. We should be getting more immigrants now? Yes! We should be getting more immigrants in the U.S. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, we have too many intellectuals there. But actually, we're already at 2.2. That's good. Let's go ahead and get some uh, soldiers going. Because I think with all the money we're making, we should be able to fund a very large army. Oh, you know what? Here's a smart idea. Go into the uh, coast. That should help quite a bit. Um... Paraguay, we already, uh, our truce has already ended. Okay, I'm not going to click on it, but I think we want to take over Alto Paraguay. 4% intellectuals rate is actually not bad for a nation with 7% literacy. It's not 4%. It's 2.4. 2.04. Did I say 4%? No, it's 4% intellectuals on the state, I mean. Yeah, see? In the state, not four percent like nationwide. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, and let's bring these guys back down. Four percent total isn't bad. Yeah, four percent total is not a bad number. Oh shit! Yeah, no, that's great. Awesome. Thank you, game. Thank you. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Lose 10 prestige. Awesome. Not like I'm trying to become a great power or anything. Ah, oh, fuck a duck. Okay, they have no soldiers. I should just go for it. What would I take over? Um, like, oh, sh oh, no, I could take over Cusco. Oh, yeah, I should probably take over Arequipa. Who has more? Probably Cusco. Yeah, Cusco definitely has more people. But Arequipa is, you know, a better border. Of course, they have this fucking piece. Into Vagastia. Believe me, you have cores yeah, down there, but not on Into Vagastia. That's odd. I mean, you did kind of cheat your infamy down so the game punishes you later on. I cheated my infamy down just so I don't have to reload and basically redo the whole fucking let's play from the beginning. That'd be dumb. Okay. And let's bring these two together. We'll rebuild this army. Pretty sure they just need two infantry. Infanteria. Pretty sure that's what they call them in Brazil. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, that's a lot of immigrants. How the fuck is Mexico? Okay, they're a republic, but damn, how is Mexico getting double the immigration the U.S. is? What is the U.S. doing? They're almost always the number one uh, immigrator. Okay. So these infantry will boost our military power. And you know what? Um, let's actually boost craftsmen because industry is kind of important. Try and uh, you know, jumpstart our economy. I know I'm jumping around all over the place with the focuses, but you know I gotta. Oh my fucking god! If I get another scandal, I'm going to punch a baby. <laughs> okay. Because I got I got the scandal, and then the scandal is poss it possibly goes like oh you lose five prestige, and then you lose another ten fucking prestige. Yeah, it's punishment time. Shut the fuck up, guys. Shut the fuck up. Okay, I think it's time. Oh, they're allied with Chile. Come on, Chile. You were allied with me. You were the chosen one. Still have that piece. Oh, fuck you for having that piece. Why do you have that piece? You should not have that piece, Bolivia. Chile, more like South Texas. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? Oh, it's right. The flags. Pretty much the same thing. Oh, God. I just want to become a great power so I can annex Uruguay, okay? Is that so hard, people? Is that so hard? You know what I should do? I should totally just go ahead and annex some African states. I could totally do that. Although, that'd be cheesing the hell out of it. Alright, there you go. A full army built up. And this army... Let's bring him down to... One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Yes. That will be enough. And with medicine, it'll be pretty nice. Hey, I'm Chilean. Well, Vinny V, you guys are pretty much just South Texas. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Okay, so that's... Oh, wow, 1% craftsman already in Bahia. That's pretty nice. Hey, that's pretty good. Right, you still have enough intellectuals. Literacy is... Slowly going up. Medicine. Okay, so after medicine... Can't get empiricism yet. Still don't have enough to get a third national focus. Eh, let's go Malthusian thought. That's right, I'm going for education efficiency. I might actually want to go for romanticism and just go down the aesthetics line. That'd probably be smart. The Chilean flag was first, then Texas. Well, you know what? Well, you are definitely correct on that. I hate you. Oh, look at that. We're still getting... We're now getting the most immigrants. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. So awesome. You know what else we should do? We should totally puppet Portugal. In this game. We need to totally puppet Portugal. It would only make sense. Alright, so we're now 20 out of 17. Which is an unhealthy number. Actually, we almost have 60,000. So it's not horrible. You know that all the Quechua, the Quechua, and the Aymara. If we uh, did this decision, there you go. The Quechua and the Aymara would also be included. That's cool. I really like how that's uh, the more uh, natives you take, the more the, they'll be accepted if you get that. Uh, where is. So we'll actually be like South American. So yeah, if you look at that, so all that Quechua. So all that Peruvian land too, and Aymara. I'm not sure with Platinan, Patagonian would definitely be one. People often say that the Texan flag and the Chilean flag are too similar, but honestly, there are far worse examples of flag. Look at the same. Look at Chad, Romania. Yeah, that's bad. Chad, Romania. <laughs> They're the exact same fucking flag. That's why I hate the bars flag. You know, the three stripes. I hate that flag. All all versions, except for the French flag, because they invented it. But every other flag after that, it's like, why did you do that? Look at the UK flag, right? UK flag is fantastic. Why does everyone else screw it up? <laughs> well, of course, everyone knows that Chad and Romania have almost the same flag. Viva, viva Chile. Yay. V viva, viva la Chile. Let's get rid of taxes for the upper class. 
as big as I can. Let's go ahead and get some romanticism. It's a good literacy boosting up just a bit more. Oh, look at that industrial subsidy is already happening because we do not have enough cement or we don't have enough coal. We don't have any coal, in fact. I'm surprised we don't have any coal in our land. We'll find it eventually. How much cement are we making, though? Are we making, like, the world's most cement? Probably not. Uh, where is cement? There it is. Yep. We are making only less than 2% of the world's cement. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and... You know, let's boost some intellectuals again, just because I need as many intellectuals as possible. I really want my literacy to boost up. I'm actually going to focus a lot on intellectuals this game. It's weird. Typical lowering taxes on the rich. Yeah, pretty much. They lower taxes on the rich because, you know, obvious reason. Oh, look at that. So the uh, USCA or the FRCA, whatever the fuck it's called in this game, successfully fell apart. They successfully failed. All right, Argentina. I don't know when the hell you guys are gonna, you guys are going to unite. Paraguay you're still allied with Chile, and you still have an army of four thousand. I mean, Chile only has two, so you know what? I think I'm going to go to war. No, I should go to war with Peru. Oh, they're allied with Argentina now. Fantastic. I'll just move one army down south. Keep the army up north. Although I could acquire a substate region on Tres Rios, right? Just annex all of Entre Rios. Where do you think I should go? Should I go Peru or Argentina to annex next? Or Paraguay? Well, pal, socialism isn't really a thing yet. Just wait a bit longer and then we start working on the revolution, comrade. <laughs> you lower tax on the rich because they pay you. Yeah! Well, also, they build my factories. So that's pretty important. We actually have two whole capitalists. I think... I'm going to attack Peru. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead. Ah, oh, but the borders! The border gore! If I take over Andre Rios, it would look so much nicer. And I'm pretty sure there's more people there anyways. Yeah, there is. What's your... Oh, Afro-Latino. It's interesting. Let's just send them down south. Yeah, we'll go ahead and attack them. Do an acquire substate region. Save the game here. Take Peru. Nah. And the state endorses them. We'll just have to annex that piece of Paraguay. Annoyingly. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was like above the infamy limit. And then I went down. Thank Christ. Okay. Let's just keep our men down here. Thank God for medicine. How much can I field over here now? Oh, 21. Okay, it's much better than before. Sorry, comrade, I cannot read yet, so I cannot read socialist papers. <laughs> yeah, no one reads. Only 8.7% reads. Only the rich can read in my land. Fuck, there is a blight. Alright, spare no effort. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Am I right or am I right? Carlos Spain. I don't know why you want an alliance. Um, no. Oh, they're the U.S. Hey, U.S., one alliance. The two great powers of North and South America uniting in a great super alliance. But he focuses on the literacy, so soon enough the people will rise up. Yeah. I mean, yeah, our consciousness will rise very high. Still won't accept. All right, fine. I get it. You hate me. I, I get it. I hate me, too. All right, an alliance from Portugal, really? <laughs> We're totally gonna annex Portugal by the end of this game. I'm pretty sure I'd be a great power by now if I didn't have all those stupid prestige events. Why hasn't the US done the Mexican-American War yet? Yeah, why haven't they? They don't have cores. They don't have, they haven't done um Manifest Destiny yet. So there's that. Okay, wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Guys, do you notice something? Guys, do you notice something? Guys, what is wrong here? Guys, what is wrong here? Guys, what the f what the f what the fuck? What the fuck happened? What what happened here? Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> what the workforce? 
the workforce. <laughs> what, what, 